I don't understand why all drugs are developed according to one and the same approach. It doesn't seem very innovative. Basically, we all use the same standard route, which takes us from phase one to phase two to phase three. Remember as well, this is a commercial company. This isn't a university where science leads. At the end of the day, we need to make money. Yeah, I agree. The project value drops by 15 million euros if we include a pet subsidy in the first in-man trial. Well, Claire, I'm glad we're agreed. Well, not entirely. Claire, you seem to make an academic exercise out of everything. Just do what you're paid for. Well, of course, we don't have the time or the money. You can't do all the tests you can think of. Yesterday, the world's leading pharmaceutical company, Magnum Pharma, announced it had discontinued research on Parker Mining. I had a tough conversation with Peter today. He's an expert on net present value calculations. Claire, I appreciate what you're doing here, but this approach isn't that much different from what we already do in phase one, two, and three studies. And I still don't see a calculation of the costs. I agree. Innovetica Therapeutics has also successfully implemented a cost-effective method for developing new therapeutic interventions known as question-based clinical development. Why don't we try to find out earlier?